Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see, we have a new family pet and I cannot wait to share them. Yes, there are two, two guinea pigs with you guys. So, um, we recently adopted two little guys, yes, both boys, from the pet store. Now, we got them at the pet supermarket, which is very similar to, like, a Petco and a PetSmart. Um, they are the cutest little boys ever. We absolutely love them. As you know, we already have two cats, both Miko and Lottie. And we just felt the time was right to add it to our family. And so we went to the pet store the other day and found these little guys. And we have absolutely loved having them. Um, they are still very skittish, very new. They are just little babies. Uh, but they are so cute and we just have enjoyed having them. So I have spent many hours uh, watching videos and doing research on guinea pigs as I have never had guinea pigs before in my life, which is so funny because I have had literally every other animal there is is uh but anyway i have also come across um a lot of new ways if you will uh to create a habitat for these little guys and so that is what we are going to be doing today now when we purchased these guys we did kind of just do what the pet store said we got um a very large cage that um which actually the size of the cage is actually pretty good for what size they are right now now give it a year or so and we will probably have to upgrade the cage to a larger size because guinea pigs full grown should have about four square feet minimum per pig um per for their home and so right now i think we ha i think the cage that we got is about four by two and so i think what is that eight square foot right now it is okay but it is the very minimum that they should have space wise and then once you start adding stuff to it um you know all your necessities it kind of cuts even down farther on the size of the cage that they have so Speaking of necessities, you guys know, I mean, if you've ever had a small animal in your home, you know that they need like some sort of, some sort of bedding, um, a way to eat, drink, and all of that. So I originally bought some very self, um, like absorbent bedding in the bottom of the cage. You can use like pine shavings and different things like that. However, um, it's becoming very costly because these little guys poo and pee all the time. So, <laughs> hi Lottie, we have a little visitor. Are you going to help me? <laughs> um... But anyway, so it's becoming very costly. You don't have to change everything out every single day, but we do kind of scoop out the little parts where they um, have gone to the bathroom on as much as possible. Well, I decided to go a different route. I've done a lot of more research on this, and so I picked up some things that I would like to share with you guys. Now, most of these items are from Amazon, so I will make sure that they are linked in my storefront for you guys. I do get a smidge commission from <laughs> anything that you purchase from my storefront. Um, it is at no extra cost to you guys, but I do like to let you guys know. I just like to be transparent and real on my channel. So uh, in transparency, I do receive a bit of a commission, again, at no cost to you, but it does help me out a ton. So anyway, let me go ahead and jump in and I will show you what we picked up. And start with the bedding portion. We are getting rid of the absorbency, um, the little cotton floofs, if you will. And I picked up this adorable absorbent mat. It is huge. It will fit across the cage, um, the bottom of it. And I just thought this print was so fitting. It is so cute. Um, they have a bunch of different options online you can get some very neutral ones or plain ones i see i've seen like rainbow ones that i thought were super cute um avocado ones tons of different designs this will help with the absorbency of the pee um 
from your guinea pigs but make it a lot easier to clean up the little poos that they leave behind because they leave a ton behind but this will be your base layer next up i got these little pads now these are fairly big there are two of them they are very they look like a rug they have like a bottom layer like an absorbency layer uh they are not a rug these ones in particular are not a rug um they are they were specifically marketed for guinea pigs now you have to be careful because some piggies will chew on this i'm hoping that our little guys do not but i'm going to put this under their hay in that um because they will they do a lot of their bathroom potty their potty time on their food while they're eating their hay if you didn't know what that is how it, guinea pigs they their meal actually um consists primarily of hay and they will forage in the hay eat the hay and use it as their litter box so <laughs> um i'm going to be using this under that so that way i can change this out regularly um, and that is why I bought two of these. I also got two of these. They come two per package. Um, I thought that it would be easiest that way. Um, that way too, while I'm washing everything, we can also already have the new bedding out. I also picked up a few other little tiny pee pads. Um, these are just much smaller, just itty bitty here. I picked these up. Um, they all came in a pack. I think it was like $20 for the four pack. But these I'm going to use under their little housing. These are just basically an extra protective layer um, on top of the main pee pad because these I can change out daily or, you know, as often as I need to. Where the other stuff I don't want to change out near as often, um, I more or less just want to kind of clean up their poos which I picked up a little mini brush I actually got this at the Dollar Tree um, that way I can just use this to kind of you know just sweep their little poos up um, and clean up off that base layer it'll also help clean up any hay that they may get all over the place but we will see and then because I don't want to do this barehanded I know that I can wash my hands but I would rather not to touch soiled um, stuff I did pick up some gloves These, there's 50 gloves in here so I will probably only use one glove per cleaning every day um, so this should last quite a while this is probably not the cheapest route I could have gone um, but realistically um, I think it works out just fine I think this was about five or six dollars for this 50 pack so as we're on the topic of cleaning I did pick up special detergent because you don't want to use anything with dyes or scents in it because guinea pigs are going to be a lot more sensitive to those things you know some of us are too are some of us as humans are kind of sensitive to different scents and dyes and that in our laundry fabric so I wanted to make sure that I got the guinea pigs something that is 100% dye free um, it, as you can see it is dye free from out of height free like all of the things this is molly's sud so this does work in he laundry um or washing machines which is what we have because we do have a front loader i think all laundry or all washing machines he at this point i don't really know but um i did pick up this this will last a very long time so i just wanted something that i could wash all their bedding in and it wouldn't get ruined um or unusable you also don't want to use like any downy or anything like that not only for the scent but downy actually makes things um not as absorbent like for instance towels you shouldn't be using downy in towels i know it makes it super soft but it actually causes them to lose their um absorbency so anyway i did pick up molly suds you can get this on amazon but i got this one on walmart it was a lot better deal a better deal for 22 dollars and then when I do do a full clean on their cage, I picked up this Nature's Miracle. I have used Nature's Miracle in the past um, for some doggy accidents and it has worked great. So I thought it would be good to use for the bottom of the cage when I clean everything out. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray all the bottom out and wipe it up. So hopefully this one's good. Again, I like Nature's Miracle. There are a ton of different cage cleaners out there that you could try if you don't like this company. 
And since we discussed the potty, we got to discuss what causes the potty. <laughs> and I clean or I picked up these cute little dishes. They are uh, ceramic. I just thought that they were super cute. Um, and that way I can put their food because you also not only do you need to feed them pellets, but you also need to give them some veggies every day. Um, on top of their Timothy hay. Uh, so I got these. These are super cute. They did come to in a package. Again, I think these were probably about $15 or so for the both of them. Uh, these did come off of Amazon. And then I also picked up a water bottle. Now, the cage that we got did come with a water bottle. However, you have to connect it on the outside and it uses a ledge to hold it up. And right now our, our piggies are really tiny and so they, they cannot reach it. So I picked up something that I can connect on the inside of the tray or inside of the cage. As you can see, it's got this wire clip here and then this one as well. That'll hold it down in the bottom of the tray so they will be able to drink out of it I know some people use um, some people will use a a just a little what is this called feet like a little bowl um, and put the water in it but that really makes me nervous um, I don't want my piggies to drown so I like the idea of the water bottle however if they don't get enough water you, you would have to go a route like this and use water in a bowl alrighty and last but not least I did pick up a few hides now they feel they are prey animals and so they feel more comfortable hiding in things um, you know right now our piggies are very new to us they are not quite used to us and so they do hide a lot I don't like the way the cage is set up currently with the hide that's in there so so I did pick up some new ones. Um, I picked up this super cute one. Uh, this one is washable. Now this one was a hit and a miss. I actually picked up two of these and the second one was not near as like I guess intact or as good as quality as this one. You can remove it the inside of it so it can be washed. Um, whether you just wash this piece or this piece. Um, it does have the little zipper so you can remove it all apart, but I just thought this was super cute. And right now they are little, so they both will fit in here. Eventually only one of them will fit in here, but that's okay. I also picked up um, this little tent. I will show you guys what this looks like once we get the cage going. I will put it all together for you, but it is like a little tent that I found on Amazon um, that I thought was super cute and that they could also use as another way to hide um they i i it was recommended that you have two pretty much two of everything so that way they don't fight i i do have two boys they are not neutered and they don't necessarily need to be neutered um as long as they are getting along i'm sure one of them will eventually kind of step up and being like the alpha male uh but however as long as there is not a female around they should be okay to be together they have always been together they are litter mates they are brothers uh, so they should be okay for now um, in the future if that should change we'll figure out something then but for now I'm gonna do my best to kind of keep things as you know separated and fair as possible so there is nothing to really fight over kind of like I said I got two hides so if one wants to go in one place one wants to go the other they can do that separately but anyway that's gonna be it as far as the haul goes now let's go ahead and go introduce you to these little guys okay. This little guy, <laughs> this little guy is Ray. Good job. It's okay, Ray. Good job. Yeah, it's okay. So this is Ray. He is named after the lightning bug on, um, what the heck is that movie called? <laughs> Princess and the Frog. He is our little Ray. He is just so cute. As you can see his little fur. He's got like little calyx everywhere. I just thought he was adorable. They've like doubled in size since we've gotten them. So they're so cute though. It's okay. Good boy. I'm going to give you a new home. Alrighty guys, this is Pua. He is much more skittish than Ray. And he is named after the, um, 
Oh, what the heck? <laughs> the pig from Moana. He has the cutest little orange spot on his forehead if you can't see him, but he's also got the same similar calyx that uh, Ray has. So, and they are brothers. But he's just so cute. I just love them. They are so skittish, though. It's okay. Good boy. Okay, so like I was telling you guys, I got this original, like the fluffy stuff. I don't like it. Um, as you can see, it just gets full of their little poos everywhere. And the poos are really hard to get out. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned out for them and get the new bedding and all that done and taken care of and get them a cute little place to call home. I don't know what it is about you tell you what this little tent was incredibly hard to put together but they are enjoying it so much they absolutely love it i'm gonna feel so bad when they outgrow it um i have seen pictures of full-grown guinea pigs using this but i definitely think it's either for hamsters or you know your smaller guinea pig because it, it is kind of small um and i really don't want them getting stuck in the hole once they're full size i don't really know how long it takes for them to get the full size guinea pigs but i guess we'll find out i know that we are able to stop feeding them alfalfa once they reach six months old. Um, alfalfa is actually high in sugar content and so it's actually better to feed them like an orchard hay or a timothy hay. However, um, right now we are just feeding them alfalfa. As long as we're together, everything will do. You got me going on. Y'all, I seriously have gone down a rabbit hole or guinea pig hole, I guess, in this case, of researching how to care for these little guys. I have found so much information. Some of it is a bit overwhelming, but I do want to make sure that I'm just correctly, you know, caring for them. Um, they, they just, they take a lot more that care i think than people realize uh you know they they need hay fresh hay uh daily they do forage in it they dig in it they pee and poop in it um it's part of having a guinea pig i guess um but that's what they do out in nature i i'm curious do you guys know where guinea pigs come from i i think it's over in Europe, but I'm not 100% sure on that. You guys are going to have to let me know. That is one thing that I have not come across. But anyway, so back to as or back to what I was saying, um, they definitely need access to fresh hay daily. So over 80% of their nutrients actually come from hay. So like I said, we do feed them alfalfa right now, but eventually we will switch over to Timothy hay. Um, you can get that hay pretty much anywhere. I think the cheapest place is either like Chewy or um, like Tractor Supply also supplies hay. Um, but anyway, besides the hay, you also need to feed them fel pellets, which I will say that the pet store got it wrong for us. We got a bag of pellets um, that is labeled for guinea pigs. However, it has other mixins mixed into it, dried carrots, um, peas, stuff like that. And I'm noticing that they will pick that stuff out and eat that stuff and leave the pellets behind. And that's because those types of things are very sugary. They're very sweet and the guinea pigs love that, but it's very, um, I guess dangerous if you will to give them a lot of those sweets and stuff because guinea pigs, if you didn't know, are actually really high and prone to getting diabetes. So um, anyway, basically, you just want to get them some regular plain pellets and then everything else, you can feed them fresh fresh veggies daily. You're going to see here in a little bit, I do, um, once I redo their, tra their, their habitat, I do fill up their little tray um, with, um, or their little bowl with some peppers, um, which are green bell peppers. They love bell peppers. Bell peppers are very good for them. I do put some carrots in there. They can, they shouldn't have fresh carrots every day, but a couple times a week is okay. And then I give them some romaine lettuce. Romaine lettuce is really good for them. Uh, they can have, I think it's like a half a cup up to a cup maybe of 
uh, fresh veggies daily and that is per pig but uh, since my little guy my guys are little I just give them about a half a cup per piggy a day uh, that way they focus mainly on the hay so and they do they eat a ton of the hay they they hear it coming and their little squeaks and squawks are so cute they get so excited when they hear their bag of hay coming so it's so funny but Anyway, another thing you want to do is make sure you are changing their water out daily. You can use a bottle brush um, to clean out their little water feet or water feeder water bottle. I don't know what to call it, but um, you can use like a little bottle brush or, you know, I've heard of people using rice. However, I heard a horror story of rice getting stuck in the little tube and the poor little piggies, he, the guy didn't realize it. And his poor little piggies went without water for like a whole day, which is incredibly dangerous considering that it doesn't take long for these little guys to, um, for something to go wrong with them. Alrighty guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope this was somewhat helpful. If you guys have some piggies in your life, let me know down in the comments. I love hearing all about critters that everybody has. I am a huge animal person and I just love them. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for somebody out there and I hope you guys will hit that subscribe button. Make sure you come back. I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Uh, uh.